In this presentation, I am going to discuss on what is called the PLO nephritis. So when we are talking about PLO nephritis, basically we are talking about the inflammation of the kidneys or when the nephrons of the kidneys are actually inflamed. The inflammatory process is one of the areas that is very critical in ultrasound practice. You must know the compass that leads you to diagnose or to come up of, with a diagnosis that is referring to or a diagnosis that can actually point to an inflammatory process when an organ is inflamed. When do we call that an organ is inflamed? Inflammatory process basically is good cardinal signs. There are five cardinal signs of inflammation. So, based on visual observation, the ancients characterized inflammation by five cardinal signs, namely redness, which is also called rubo, swelling, which is called chumo, heat, which is also called color, and Another cardinal sign that is applicable to the body's extremities, which is pain, dolor, and loss of function or function lesia. So, I am going to highlight how we apply the cardinal signs to come up with a diagnosis of PLO nephritis or inflammation of the kidneys. So here is a case scenario. What we are seeing here is a nice right kidney. So as you can see, uh, this region that we are seeing, this is defines our renal cortex. So this is our renal cortex. So you can see from the thickness of this renal cortex that this kidney is actually swelling. And as if you look in the parenchyma or the functional uh, part of the kidney, you can see that it is markedly hypoechoic as compared to the surrounding tissues. So this marked hypoechogenicity and a little bit of these areas uh, that are markedly hypoechoic as compared to the rest of the parenchyma is suggestive of edema or edematous process. So during an inflammatory process, what then causes the edema to okay? Uh, when there is an inflammatory process, we do have what, what we call the inflammatory exudent or fluid that is produced to cater for the inflammatory, to counter the inflammatory process. So you can actually see that this is macular hypoechoic due to edema. Our kidney appears to have swollen it is because of edema inflammatory exudate. So what we are seeing here that is more hyper echoic. This is our renal sinus of fat. That is what we are seeing here. So when a kidney is actually swollen, uh, this can be one of the indicators or signs of an inflammatory process. So on compression or on solar palpation, Actually, our kidney, uh, when it is inflamed, it will be turned on, on sono or patient. So, playing it like this, you can actually see that um, our renal uh, cortex is actually exaggerated or is actually uh, very thick. And you can also see that our kidney is actually juicy or it is edematous. So, when there is an inflammatory process, uh, basically uh, the cells, the tissues affected, they actually have exaggerated perfusion, which we call hyperemia. So because the blood vessels, they dilate to allow more blood to go to the inflamed site, so that uh, antibodies can actually uh, respond to the stimuli or to the antigen. So in this particular instance, you can actually see that uh, on power Doppler, we do have got exaggerated diffusion. 
of which there are two processes that can actually cause exaggerated perfusion one is the inflammatory process and secondly neovascularization in malignancy or in cancer cells can also present the same so besides we also have to check for other indicators of malignancy to rule out if there is malignancy or not so we can actually see that uh, there is no invasion of the surrounding tissue and our kidney actually maintains uh, its shape you see so we don't see any obvious of um, global or focal malignancy so this is suggestive of an inflammatory process with the other presenting cardinal signs doing it this way again on color doppler you can actually see the exaggerated uh, flow that is characteristic or feature a feature of a pyocell or an inflammatory process so the same you see still our hyperemia there so this you can see this is our, our our right kidney and then you can actually see the chaotic flow that is taking place here and this is a consistent with hyperemia which is one of the signs of an inflammatory process so besides at the swelling we also see the hyperperfusion that is presenting so this said you can actually see again the chaotic flow on power doppler so this case is consistent with what is called piello nephritis so when i doing an ultrasound scans these are things that you are supposed to be worried or to look at so you can actually see the merits of doppler when you're doing an ultrasound scan so that you might overlook some of the presenting features and miss a very critical diagnosis i hope you are learning a useful trade and i hope it's making sense to you this is how an inflammatory process is diagnosed sonographically do not forget to put a little bit pressure to confirm if there is tenderness on sonopalpation which is the other sign or, or the cardinal sign of an inflammatory process i thank you all remember to subscribe to our channel be blessed thank you once again